Welcome everyone to Movie Scene, Horror Movie Month Edition, Week 3. I'm your host Chris Giddens. I also have a bit of a cold and I just ate a big mess of nachos, so I'm barely conscious. So let's do this before I'm comatose. Here are the 7 movies that I watched during Week 3, ranked in order of my preference for them. Number 7, The Fun House. Not the movie I remembered watching growing up, but better than the movie I remember watching. I love carnivals, and so I would have been perfectly happy if nothing major really happened, and the second half of the movie would have just been a continuation of the first half, without it even becoming a stereotypical or conventional horror film. Number 6, The People Under the Stairs. If you're a fan of Wes Craven's sense of humor, which I am, then you're in for a treat with this film. It's very bizarre, a genre-bending uh, movie that often feels more like a David Lynch film, which is ironic when you consider the mommy and daddy characters and their relation to Twin Peaks. Number five, Christine. This proves that no idea is too absurd as long as there's good design and execution. Keith Gordon's acting, his transformation in the film was excellent. Uh, it was nice to see a, a, a non-a-hole jock in an 80s film. And Christine also gets the Harry Dean Stanton seal of approval. Number four, The Conjuring. There's nothing new here, but it's well-crafted and scary from beginning to end, even for non-believers such as myself. Uh, it seems that most movies of this nature, at least recently, either under-deliver or just ridiculously go overboard, and The Conjuring instead strikes a nice balance between the two. Number three, Four Flies on Gray Velvet. As expected, there's plenty of hip style and memorable characters, including the very awesome Bud Spencer, but it's also visually innovative, including freaking bullet time almost three decades before The Matrix. Number two, The Brood. In the David Lynch episode of Movie Scene, I mentioned watching Eraserhead uh, soon after becoming a new dad. As fate would have it, I watched The Brood right after my son turned six years old, and the trauma was similar. So again, I recommend this to everyone in the same scenario. Number one, let the right one in. Such a beautiful movie. It almost seems real in that the, the characters feel like actual people, which makes the, the relationships and the emotions that much more impactful. And as a result, it makes the acts of violence even more disturbing. I loved it. It's basically the polar opposite of Twilight. All right, that's it. Week three of Horror Movie Month is in the books. I survived. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think. So if you would, let me know in the comments below. Or you can connect with me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Giddens. Until next time, thanks for watching.